Today I'm going to do a little bit of uh, uh, preventive maintenance on my 9-bot um, Segway S-Max uh, scooter. Um, this is uh, off of my um, go-kart kit that I have for this uh, Segway S-Max. So, but anyways, um, if you watch my other video, I had to replace the motherboard on this unit. And uh, what happened was uh, the motherboard, uh, I guess, died. And uh, uh, I didn't know why, but I think it probably overheated, which uh, most motherboards, um, a, lot, uh, a, lot of, uh, a lot of them die due to overheating. So I noticed, I compared this one to my other uh, S-Max, which hasn't died yet. And I noticed that the other one has a lot of thermal paste for uh, heat transfer from the, uh, the motherboard. Um, and uh, this one, the one that died, did not have too much of thermal paste. So what I did was I purchased some, some of this MX4 thermal compound. It's made by Arctic. And uh, I was gonna add some extra thermal compound so that I could match the other unit that has a lot more thermal compound on it. So I just wanna prevent this uh, motherboard from overheating and uh, having the same problem that I had uh, when it died. So anyways, um, you can f refer to my other video. Um, I'll have it in my description uh, to sh that way you can see uh, what, what type of problem I had with this one, why I had to replace the motherboard. But anyways, uh, when I took this apart, the motherboard is right here. Um, and, I, and I looked at the heat, the heat sinks here. I noticed that there were little to none of this thermal paste. You could see it right here. There's a little bit here. But anyways, this motherboard is gonna heat up and it's supposed to transfer the heat to this heat sink. And then this aluminum heat sink transfers the heat to the actual uh, scooter itself. So there's a plate right here, which is your heat sink. Let me remove it. There you go. So I think this is sort of like a transfer plate for transferring the heat from your motherboard. And this will transfer the heat over to the actual uh, platform, this piece right here. You could see all this metal right here. So this is supposed to absorb most of the heat so that your motherboard doesn't overheat. So right here, you can tell that there's not much thermal paste here. So what I'm gonna do is uh, put a lot of thermal paste on this surface, put a lot of thermal paste on this surface, and that way you, you sandwich all that thermal paste uh, between the motherboard here and these pads and the uh, platform unit underneath. That way you're, you can have a very good thermal heat transfer to the platform. And that way the, the platform can uh, absorb most of the heat instead of your, uh, your um, motherboard uh, burning up. So that's, that's the, uh, the, that's the goal here. I just want to match the other uh, Segway S Max that I uh, that I have that looks like that they added a lot more of this thermal paste. So uh, if I were you, I'd do it too to prevent your uh, motherboard from overheating. So here you go. I'll show you what I'm doing here. So this belongs here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add some thermal paste on this guy and then slide it underneath.
going to do that. Slide it underneath. And then I'm going to add some thermal paste at the bottom later. After I, re after I mount this on here. Alright, so there you go. Uh, there are some standoffs here that you need to make sure are in the right place. So you have to put these standoffs in the right place here. Sure you put the right screw in here should be the longer um, stainless steel screws boom all right you can see where the thermal paste is oozing out right here on the side I'm going to do it over here, and I can see where the uh, thermal paste is oozing out there, so that's good. Just make sure you have the uh, standoff in the right place. You have some plastic standoffs there, some spacers. All right, so now I'm going to do the other side here. Same deal. <clears throat> I think I could just leave it there. Yeah, see, you can see you can see that metal uh, uh, aluminum uh, uh, heat sink right here. Um, so I'm gonna add some uh, of the thermal paste there, and then sandwich it. Right there, so there's a bead of uh, thermal paste on that now. And then now I'm going to remount this. Okay. Tighten up the screw. And you should see that uh, thermal paste oozing out through the sides here. I'm going to put my second screw back in. I can see my spacer is in the right spot. There you go. Got the hole uh, lined up. And I could see all the uh, thermal paste oozing out, so that's a good sign. It's time to go underneath that aluminum piece, that aluminum uh, uh, heat sink, um, I guess connect our, uh, yeah, aluminum uh, heat transfer plate. And now I'm gonna coat the bottom of this uh, transfer plate. Yep, see, that's what it looks like underneath. It's, it's very, very uh, bare. They, 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 they didn't put enough thermal paste here. So now I'm gonna put a nice big bead. All the way down. Just like that. I'm gonna do it on the other side as well. Uh, 
And there you go. That's what it looks like. Hopefully you can see that. Put the screws on these, uh, this side. Remounted. paste. I hate working with thermal paste. It gets all over the place. Blue wire. Now this brown wire, I'm going to push it, pull it up to the right here and then push it down and over. Just like that. And the last one, I'm going to push this down and over. And we're So you got to make sure that this is lined up properly because this is a seal. So this this um, track right here that goes all the way around is a seal. So you have to make sure that all these uh, grommets, these pieces right here are mounted properly so it has a good seal once you put the battery, once you remount the battery. So this one looks pretty good. And right I got my connector back on. Let's push this back down. So make sure this has a good seal. This is good. That's good. That's good. Make sure that, make sure when you put this back together that you put these this three prong uh, connector back on first, and uh, that way you don't smash it underneath like I did. So, all right, that should, that should be it. Now, get, take the battery and remount the battery. <clears throat> you can open this out and pry it open and keep it open. This is gonna drop down in there. Let's double check that this gasket is in place and not dirty. That looks all right. Now we just have to put this in place. Just like that. You need a three millimeter hex. Make sure you got one of these guys. This guy goes here. 